had a an interesting bracket thus far. I mean, having to go from Robin into uh, Robin into Kazia and now to a Wolf is definitely a lot of flavors in terms of this uh, how Smash Ultimate can kind of approach you. While LRA start uh, with the upset over Zane, which I guess isn't really an upset, but still a good win nonetheless. As they're looking to get even further and make it into that top eight. Yeah, it is kind of interesting the way that LRA Start has kind of had to go through, you know, sort of zoner after zoner, whereas John has to go from zoner to weird, scrappy Kazuya, <laughs> now to a much Kazuya Mishima, Kazuya Mishima. <laughs> now to a much more fundamentals-based, sort of consistent character as Wolf. Yeah, but at the very least, it's a matchup that John and everybody should know. Wolf, while maybe not exactly as meta as he was before in early Ultimate, he's still a character that has a lot of flexibility and a lot of fundamental strengths. But Wii Fit Trainer kind of embodies the new age of Smash Ultimate, where you have a strong defensive game plan and some decent, like one or two decent aerials that you can fall back on. And then you combine that with some crazy X Factor. Yeah, and I do think that, especially part of John's X Factor, is his very reactionary game plan. And we can already see that paying out the way that he got LRA's first uh, stock was just running up and up smashing him for throwing out the reflector. LRA was looking for the projectile. There we go, though, the dash attack taking John's first stock. Yeah, couldn't get, with that, couldn't get away with that up smash a second time, despite having a slight, a, a little couple frames of intangibility within that. But either way, it's Wolf just doing Wolf things, trying to use that airspeed into a down throw combo, dash attack forward tilt, and his bread and butter to get 38% here. Yep. And oh, just an air out of shield. Ends up uh, ends up connecting because it was the late hit. John trying to avoid it with a little bit of a low profiling. Ooh. But you can get that pickup with a header off stage, getting right in the perfect spot before uh, after the initial hitbox, but before the final of Wolf Flash. Such a deadly spot for to be in against Wolf. Yep, as always, sort of the spacey conundrum is yeah. having to deal with having to recover. And John, no stranger to getting those aggressive edge guards when he has to. And you know, capitalizing it on on right there, getting LRA's second stock. Still, so LRA's been doing a pretty good job of finding some of these grabs, and it's tough to it's tough to try and will yourself to try and go off stage or try and apply pressure against uh, against John in some of these offstage scenarios. He's pretty much exclusively looking for uh, two frames, but that volleyball would do such a good job of preventing that. Despite the up smash out of his shield, still not working. That shield looking mighty low. Has to be really careful about how much he decides to lean on that, especially with all of these headers continuing to be a thorn in LRA's side. There's that back air. Even the defense buff on the deep breathing won't save Ooh. you, but the deep breathing will come back with a vengeance. Use the invulnerability, take a Don't deep breath, have a moment, Wizard and yourself. then die. <laughs> Center yourself, find your, your key. Hmm. Yes, poise and calming, soothing winds, as well as the howls that, of a dead wolf. <laughs> that wasn't even deep breathing. That was just... Oh, that was so, salutation. So, yeah, he didn't salutation. even get it. That makes sense, actually. John uh, choosing to prioritize the resource. Yeah, me too, bro. <laughs> like, me too. <laughs> That's what, what I mean. can you do? It's a living. <laughs> the, oops. oops. <laughs> emo, please. Emo, please. please. Emo, please. <laughs> All right. So, Ellery, bring things back to a small battlefield. A pick I definitely agree with in this matchup, you know. He's gonna wanna be getting in to really not let John set up the, his resources. Absolutely, like you're on a small stage like this because you want to be able to rely on Wolf's large hitboxes to make up for the difference in the amount of neutral interactions that you may be confronted with. So you're going to kind of pressing uh, neutral air a lot. You're going to be pressing falling forward air a lot, and especially that challenging Ooh. back air. But we've got a pretty nice back air of her own, pretty wouldn't you good. say? Yeah. <laughs> Now, I do want to point out, as you were pointing out before, LRA hasn't really been going off off stage against John Numbers. And, you know, that's where John loves to be, especially when he's been thrown off stage. You know, he gets all of the time in the world to set up deep breathing, to throw a soccer ball at some weird angle, and, you know, lasers aren't stopping that at all. 
It's but it, catching uh, catching John being over aggressive on ledge is kind of the position that you're you're trying to set up time and time again because we fit trainers do things like that all the time. Ledge hop up air, ledge hop forward air, ledge hop header. Like all of it starts with a drop double jump, and if you can find a t the timing to intercept that or properly whiff punish then you're in a really good spot. And Wolf has some pretty good options to do that, but then you come into contact with John's own ledge counterplay of which he has plenty in his pockets. Absolutely. There we go, using the ledge attack to get himself some room at the ledge. Okay, you're Just weird. Building up. <laughs> it's like, this gonna is give going... that soccer ball a business. <laughs> like Charlie Brown sending it to the moon. <laughs> oh, oh no, wow. he had the reflector, but I uh, didn't just threw it out at, I guess, with the mentality of, he. W I'll throw it out so he won't throw it, but John threw it anyway. Yeah, I th didn't quite believe, oh, was just man. really using it as a bluff. No bluffing that time, though. All right, going all in on that reflector, just barely getting him John's second stock. Yeah, such a difference maker in a matchup like this to have a easy answer to these charged projectiles. John trying to find the reverse hit of forward tilt in order to throw off LRA's DI. But without deep breathing, Weefa is way without kill power up until maybe even 20% longer, unless you find an up smash like that. With the down throw into the dash stack, keeping things alive for them. No, the volleyball didn't go away. But the high recovery to stage keeps LRA in this until he overcommits to the down smash. And I feel like that is indicative of the, ma of the way that that game transgressed. Just Wolf in this position right here. Header on ledge, uh, the blocking the he uh, header on ledge, you block the volleyball and you sit there and you think, okay, I am trying to play advantage in a normal Smash Ultimate advantage state, the ledge trap. And then Wii Fit says, I can be flexible. And many characters say, I can be flexible in this position. So your options here become a lot more limited than you want to be. Mm -hmm. But because you're trying to keep up with that native X factor and look for more Wolf's more pushed early kill options like back air or like down smash, LRA seeing the lead got a little bit in his own head. Which is yeah, such a shame. See. Yep, over committing yeah. it just a little bit there with that F or down smash. That's all John needed. John giving a little bit of a shrug. Same same way that he ended game one. Just, eh, yeah. you know, that's yeah. Smash Bros. Yeah, you take those. Like, it's, it's a free back air. It's a free deep breathing back air. Like, mm -hmm. that's, you don't pass those up. No.